Sometimes you gotta stop circling around the figure and pull that trigger. Hey guys, James Sharmack here in the Nerd Room with another Marvel Legends review for you. So, if you're like me, you tend to get some of your figures for the secondary market, am I right? Sometimes they're, the prices are just a bit much for you, sometimes they're just right. So this guy right here, the uh, Ben Riley Spider-Man from the Absorbing Man Wave, he's been out of my price range for a long time. I've circled around it, the cheapest I've seen it was for 55 a few years ago. So I went to Boston Expo, Fan Expo as you know, and as I said in the previous video I found them for 35 so I had to grab them. So I'm excited to have the Ben Riley Spider-Man and or Spider Carnage in the collection. So let's get reviewing and see if it's worth the wait. Outside of the Scarlet Spider, this is probably one of the figures I had to find or I was trying to find the must-have in my collection because deep down I did like the clone saga it went a bit far went a bit much sometimes it came across I didn't know what they were doing but I did like the Ben Riley character and what he was trying to do anyways let's take a look at the box so you have the standard window box of course with the legends on the top spider-man on the bottom he's got like a whole bunch of accessories so that's pretty awesome turn to the side you have Ben Riley on the side there turn to the back it's one of those uh, Edge of the Spider-Verse tie-in, so you have a Gwen C, a Spider Gwen, you have the Ben Riley, and you have the text. So the text says, When radioactive spiders are turned loose in the lab, these scientists obtain web slinging superpowers. That's what they call it, okay? It's just an accident, it's not scientists. So this figure comes in the Absorbing Man Wave, which I have pieces of. I don't have the, all the figures. Probably can't find the Venom now, but I'm, you know, trying to get the pieces for build a figure. So eventually we might do a absorbing band build. We'll see how it goes. Spider Gwen on that side. Back to the front, all the usual stuff. We just talked about the legends. The head of the Spider Verse on the bottom and Spider Man. Absorbing Man Man on the top. The nice spider symbol right there. So that's a box, kids. There's a lot of dust because uh, obviously it's probably been on a shelf for a while. So Let's re release this sucker out of his four-year coffin and uh, give it a nice review. All right, so we pulled Ben Riley out of the package. He looks fantastic. Has a nice uh, costume he wore went after he was a Scarlet Spider and took over for Peter Parker. So, yeah, very cool. I like the nice sh shine of the black. I like, you know, this is, a, you know, seen as a drastic change in the 90s when he took over. But... but you know, I dig the character. So anyways, comes with these two parts for the Absorbing Man, like a metal arm and a regular arm. We don't need those until we can do the figure for a while. Comes with a bunch of extra hands. Comes with a fist, comes with a whip, comes with a pair of uh, crawling hands. I, I do like the paint detail on it. I like the focus on the web shooters and you know, the sleekness of the uniform. As always with a Spider-Man outfit. He also comes with the Carnage hood, because uh, you had that one storyline where he became Spider Carnage, or Carnage took over, so he, and he has Carnage hands. We'll uh, put those on later when we do the posing and see how it looks, but let's talk articulation right now of this guy. So, Spider-Man's head goes back that far, goes forward that far, it's like a little tilt, a little hinge to it. It goes all, head goes all the way around, has a little tilt to the head, it's that butterfly uh, hinge on the shoulder blades and his arms go up that I always have trouble with the, the butterfly hinge I don't know why but you know his arm goes up that far and all the way around as always that uh, bicep rotation double joint at the elbow wrist and back and forth rotation as you've come to expect his back bends that far forward that far rotation at the waist Legs will part that far. Rotation at the thigh, double joint at the knee, and ankle pivoting back and forth. So let's put him some poses. Let's put the uh, carnage head and the carnage hands on him as soon as we can stand up and see how he looks.
Okay, so I switched out the head and the hands with the spider carnage, and he just looks nuts. He looks, you know, definitely crazy. Definitely looks fantastic. Um, if I didn't already have a spider carnage, or if I didn't want, you know, the Ben Riley, I'd put him in this pose. But just gotta say, it's fantastic looking. And just to compare, I pulled out the uh, Carnage we got from the Venom Wave last year and the Spider Carnage I have, the Translucent Spider Carnage I got from the old uh, Toy Bazaar. And anyways, uh, it looks like they use the same head for Carnage, but still very cool looking. And you know, like I said, I do wish, you know, that Toy Biz actually put out a Spider Carnage into Spider-Man Classics line, or what? Marvel Legends line are dated, but it is what it is. Can't complain. That's a fantastic Mark Bagley inspired one itself. So there you go. And what would any Spider-Man video be that I do without pulling a whole bunch out and you know comparing them? Well, they all pretty much have the same body, but you know, paint apps kind of stand out a little bit more. So which one do you like? I kind of dig the uh, the Ben Riley one. I just think it contrasts more than the others. What do you guys think? So there is my Ben Riley Spider-Man Marvel Legends figure. I'm so glad I got it. Found it at a price that I have no problem buying it for. So I was very stoked about that, obviously. But if you know, you can find it for 50 bucks, you can afford it, sure, why not? 50, 60 bucks, if that's what you think, it's knock yourself out. You know, I'm not gonna tell you not to do it. I. I love the figure, I love the design, you know, I am an unapologetic fan of the Clone Saga. But that being said, he's also part of the Spider-Verse, so that, you know, you can have him in there too, so it works both ways, right? So, so he's going to be a fantastic fit in the Spider-Verse collection. So one of my viewers asked for a Spider-Verse video, we will get one done, one way or another. I think I have a couple more figures to get before I want to actually jump into that pool, but a Spider-Verse video is coming, we'll discuss my Spider-Man collection, the figures from not only the Hasbro, but the Toy Biz Marvel Legends that I have and see how it goes. So anyways, if you guys like this video, I really need you to hit that like button. I would so appreciate it, you know, everybody likes being liked, so uh, if you, you know, like this video, please hit that like button, I dig it. So anyways, uh, thank you guys once again for watching these videos. I always appreciate it. I have some more in the pipeline as I always do. So uh, we'll get to those in the near future. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Uh, keep up with your collections and happy hunting.